the way that you add, at least from the first release, the new beautiful and smart UI for QReader, it's not like that in the traditional way, the way you go, that you go to extension management and take a zip file and add it in here. It's just slightly different. You get a zip file, but what you do, let me actually go into my terminal here to show you, uh, because I did this. Uh, I put, I use FileZilla to move that, and this is the file that I got, the QReader UBI beta.zip. And when you simply do the command unzip, as, uh, and then put that the name of that file what you'll get actually pretty sure I can show it to you here in the the top when you uh, unzip it just put the word unzip and the name of that file you're gonna get a directory created and this this is the directory curator UI you need to navigate to that directory as I uh, let me actually go there again QReader UI and it's very simple you have a start those sh all you need to do is execute that file and the thing is gonna do all this stuff let me show you the end screen when this process finishes and here it is and it's telling you that to invoke the new UI one way of doing it is put the IP address of your QReader box and put slash console slash UI and by the way, uh, this error doesn't seem to be consequential, so because everything was working beautifully in my installation. How you get there? Well, you can, as, as this indicates, you can put slash console slash UI, or in the navigation panel, when you refresh the screen, on the navigation panel, you get the try new UI, which opens that there. Don't forget that if you want the uh, the new look of this being integrated with the Pulse, you need to download the latest version of Pulse, which is also compatible with this one. And that is it. Enjoy the new good-looking and smart UI for QReader.